Well, let's see if such limit exists. So do we have a limiting slope? So we try to calculate the limit for h to 0 of f1 plus h minus f1 divided by h. Yeah, so we get a limit of h to 0 of f1 plus h, well, fx is x squared, so f1 plus h is 1 plus h squared minus 1 divided by h equals, well, we just get rid of the brackets, so that we get 1 plus 2h plus h squared minus 1 in the numerator, and we divide it by h. So now we see that the numerator actually takes a more simple form and we may divide by h and we get 2 plus h, of which the limit for h to 0, of course, equals 2. Well, we can also take the equivalent definition of a limiting slope. Yeah, so something similar happens if we would look at the limit for x, x21, and look at the change in the function value fx relative to f1, if we divide x and compare it to 1, x minus 1. So the limit of x21 of fx, or fx equals x squared, subtract 1 and we divide by x minus 1, yeah, but we can factorize x squared minus 1 as x minus 1 times x plus 1 and divide it by x minus 1. Well, this expression is just the same as x plus 1. Yeah, since we take a limit, we never substitute x equal to 1, so we get something similar, limit of x to 1 of x plus 1. And we use direct substitution property, so we get as a limit, we get 2. So the limiting slope of the red line is 2. And this is what we call the derivative of the function in 1.